You might think that once a tunnel boring machine drills under the seabed, the tunnel is done. But the real construction process is much more complex and dangerous. When a TBM works under the sea, the biggest problems are collapse and water leakage. The seabed soil is usually soft. As the machine moves forward, the ground around it can crack. If control is poor, seawater can rush into the tunnel through these cracks, which is very dangerous. To solve this, engineers improve the TBM's design. Right behind the cutter head, they added a special chamber. The excavated soil is mixed with water to form thick slurry. The TBM then uses its own pressure to push this slurry into the gaps in the surrounding ground. This blocks the water and helps stabilize the soil. To keep the tunnel safe and stable, the TBM moves a short distance, then stops. Workers install a ring of concrete segments behind it. Usually, seven segments form one complete ring, and the gaps between them are filled with grout to seal everything. When the whole tunnel is finished, the TBM is not pulled back to the surface. Instead, it is buried at the end of the tunnel. This seems wasteful, but it is actually cheaper. The TBM is huge and can only move forward. If you tried to take it apart and pull it back, the cost would be extremely high. So after tunneling, engineers remove and recycle the key internal parts. The remaining outer shell is then filled with concrete and left underground. 